As humans, we all experience moments in life, you know, when everything seems overwhelming. Days when we feel alone, we feel tired, we feel worn out and even helpless. We long for a breakthrough, a moment when everything changes, or as homemakers, a moment when we can just rest. I've met many who feel stuck in this place and perhaps they're there too. But it's a powerful life-giving force that many overlook, which is the joy of the Lord. It is not just an idea, it is a force that can completely transform transform your perspective and give you the strength to keep going. Hi there, welcome to another episode on this platform. If you're new here, welcome. And if you've been with me for a while, thank you so much for sticking around. I am Aneta Elisha Oladejo, the homemaker according to the tenets of scriptures in Titus chapter 2, 3 to 5. I am the homemaker's personal growth coach and the blogger at anetaelishaoladejo.com. In today's episode, we'll be discussing the joy of the Lord and how we can enrich our Christian experience as homemakers. The joy, this joy is just not a fleeting emotion. It's a deep sustaining force that can uplift your spirit and renew your strength. No matter what life throws at you, and no matter what your day to day running looks like. But first, let's start by understanding what is the joy of the Lord. Now, the joy of the Lord is much deeper. It's like having uh, this calm and steady peace inside, no matter what's happening around you. You know, it is a solid foundation that doesn't shake even when life gets tough. It's the kind of joy Paul talks about in Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 where he lists it as one of the fruits of the spirit. This joy isn't based on our circumstances. It doesn't depend on whether things are going perfectly in our lives. Instead, it's rooted in the deep assurance that God is in control, that he loves us and that he is working everything out for our good just as how Romans chapter 8 Verse 28 says, Think about it this way. Have you ever had a day where it seemed like nothing went right? Everything kind of just fell apart and everything kept falling apart. You know, maybe in the morning um, you spill coffee on yourself, uh, or you go stuck in traffic trying to get groceries, or you had a flat tire, or one of the children need serious help, right? In the middle of all of this mess, but somehow you have this unexplainable peace, a peace that passes human understanding, right? This is the kind of peace that we need to sustain our spirit the steady stream of happiness that flows from deep within keeping us grounded no matter what the chaos is happening you know around us this joy comes from knowing that god has our back it's not about pretending that everything is perfect or ignoring our struggles it's about having confidence in god's love and his plan for our lives and honestly that's something we all need to hold on to especially when life gets tough so really the joy of the lord is like that safety net that catches you when everything else falls apart it's that inner strength that keeps you moving forward even when the road is rocky it's so amazing that God gives us this kind of joy no matter what we're facing. Now, the next thing that we're going to try to understand is that this joy isn't something that we earn or we work for. It's a gift from God, freely given to us through our relationship with Him. The closer we work with God, the more we'll experience this joy, even in the midst of challenges. Now, let's dig more, you know, into it a bit. The Bible says in Nehemiah chapter 8, verse 10, it says, For the joy of the Lord is your strength. Now, this verse seems very simple, but it's so packed. It's telling us that when we find joy in God, that joy gives us the strength we need to face whatever life throws at us. Think about it this way. As a homemaker, imagine you woke up in the morning with two choices. Either you do the pile of laundry or you decide to pick up on all of the small chores, right? Just because you're trying to while away time and um, not do the laundry, right? But then you decide to reward yourself with going out for a me time to get a cup of coffee while your husband watches the kids. Now, the reward in view actually strengthens you to get the pile of laundry done really quickly. The thought of that reward lifts your spirit and gives you the motivation to keep going. Now, replace that reward, right? The cup of coffee you are going to get with the joy of the Lord. Instead of getting a temporary boost, you're tapping into a joy that comes from knowing God's love and his promises. This joy isn't just a quick fix. It's something that stays with you, strengthening you from the inside. It's like having a reserve of energy that never runs out because it's fueled by God's unchanging love. It means that no matter how things get tough, 
you have something to lean on. You don't have to rely on your own strength all the time, which let's be honest, can sometimes feel like it's running on empty. Instead, you can rely on the joy that God provides, a joy that's solid, that's dependable, that's always there when you need it. So the next time you're feeling worn out, remember Nehemiah 8 verse 10. Remind yourself that the joy of the Lord is your strength. It's like that little boost you get from remembering you have a me time son but so much better because this strength doesn't fade away it's here for you right constantly renewing you and helping you get through even the hardest day so how do you cultivate the joy of the lord let's break it down into very simple relatable steps number one spend time with god this is pretty straightforward of course now when you spend time with god you love him more in his presence there is fullness of joy and at his right hand there are pleasures forevermore you know how it feels like when you hang out with a good friend you live lighter happier and more at peace it's the same thing with god but a much more deeper level david one of the bible's key figures understood this very well in psalm 16 verse 11 he says thou will show me the path of life in that presence is a fullness of joy and at the right hand there are pleasures forevermore basically as homemakers when we make time to be in god's presence whether through prayer reading the bible or just quietly reflecting on his goodness while opening ourselves up to his joy it's like recharging your batteries uh, have you ever noticed that when you start your day with a moment of gratitude or quick prayer you know to god everything else just seems to fall into place better that's what we're talking about here somehow you're just a little more patient somehow the things that bug you just seems very trivial number two cultivate gratitude the next step is to be thankful it's not just about saying thank you here and there it's about making it a habit of looking at the good in your life and actually acknowledging it Philippians 4 verse 4 tells us rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice rejoicing isn't just an emotion it's a choice we make every day to focus on what's good think about it this way when you wake up you have two choices right you have two options you can focus on the challenges ahead and let them weigh you down but you can take a moment to thank God for the gift of a new day for the people in your life for anything that brings you joy right it's amazing how just this simple shift in focus can actually change your entire day gratitude acts like a lens helping you see the joy that's already present even when life gets tough number three serve others Acts chapter 20 verse 35 says it is more blessed to give than to receive. Serving others isn't just about being kind. It's stepping into God's heart for people. As homemakers, when you give your time, your energy, your resources to run your household, to you know invest that into your children, you are reflecting God's love and fulfilling his commandment. And here is the beautiful thing. In the process, you experience a unique kind of joy. See your homemaking as service. Why? Because when we serve others, especially when we do it with a cheerful heart, by tapping into something much bigger than ourselves. It's a joy that goes beyond just feeling good, but knowing that you're making a difference in your children's life. You're making a difference in your family's life and maybe someone else's life and living out your faith in a tangible way. Start your day by spending just a few minutes with God. Even if it's just a quick prayer or reading a psalm, then make it a point to notice the good things in your life no matter how small they might seem finally look for opportunities to serve others both your family and neighbors alike whether it's through a kind word a small favor or something bigger now how does the joy of the lord show up in our everyday lives well it's often in the small seemingly insignificant moments that we might overlook but if you pay close attention you'll see how god's joy quietly fills your day think about the last time you felt to be overwhelmed maybe it was a day where nothing seemed to have gone right the kids were arguing the laundries were piled up and you just couldn't catch a break then out of nowhere something simple caught your eye let's call it a beam of sunlight through the trees or maybe your child's laughter in that instant you felt a wave of peace and gratitude wash over you that right there is the joy of the lord his joy isn't loud or flashy it's the kind that sneaks up on you in those little moments reminding you that god is present even in the chaos it's the quiet assurance that no matter how crazy life gets you're not alone it's easy to miss these moments if you're not looking out for them but when you actually start looking you realize that they're everywhere the next time you're feeling overwhelmed try to pause for a second and look around and you might just find that god's joy is right there with you waiting to be noticed
another thing is to make it a habit to look for those moments actually start your day with prayers all the time let god open your eyes to count your blessings tell him to help you see the joy in your life and throughout the day keep your eyes open and it might be the warmth in your morning coffee or in the way your kids hug you when they get back from school basically the joy of the lord is moving into the fabric of the daily life it's not something you have to chase after it's something you can find right where you are in the middle of whatever you are doing so there you have it friends the joy of the lord is not just a nice idea it's a powerful reality that can transform your life if you would only make it a habit to count your blessings every day be thankful for them be grateful for them and definitely your life will be filled with so much joy and light and peace so thank you very much for watching this video if you stayed up until this point i would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below what brings you joy how do you experience the joy of the lord in your life and before you go don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't if you're watching from youtube and share it with your someone who you know might need this little encouragement today and remember to keep growing as you keep your home and always ascribe all glory back to god for your testimonies both big and small i'll see you on the next one let's go success as we know it is the compounded effect of the everyday steps we take towards a main goal one of the things that gives peace and mental clarity while homemaking is putting the emptiness season clearly before our eyes taking baby steps at the moment while still on the journey of making and keeping the home towards that season is an important aspect of self-care most people overlook it strengthens the intentionality that goes into making every moment you have right now count my blog Aneta Elisha Oladejo.com helps young women navigate their homemaking season in view of the empty nest phase. From ebooks to short courses on time management for homemakers to parenting, finances, and building small businesses while at home, there is plenty to keep you learning and growing while you create the warm, loving space that your family needs to thrive. I am also an, a local SEO specialist dedicated to helping small businesses like yours stand out in your community. Whether you're a budding entrepreneur or a seasoned business owner, you can employ my services to amplify your online presence. With seven years of experience in search engine optimization, I know the ins and the outs of getting your business noticed online. You can book a free consultation or free Google business profile page audit on anetaelishaoladejo.com to get started today.